that's also what I learned in my life. Uh, because you know, life sometimes is crazy. You have some ups and downs. Mm. But when you have the downs, you always have to stay positive. And the, the thing is, when you stay positive, you will be more successful. Mm -hmm. People who are negative, always thinking negative, they become negative yeah. and they are not successful. Also, with your surrounding, you know, uh, you attract the yeah. negative if yeah. you're negative, mm -hmm. but you attract also the positive mm -hmm. when you're positive. So just be positive. There's always something you can think positive, also in difficult times. Now, yeah, so I'm with my butch there. You complain. <laughs> so this is supposed to be like watermelon salad, but they only have like four watermelon slices in there. But it tastes good, right, Andy? Yes, it does. Yeah, yes. it tastes good. I I'm hoping that they could actually add more watermelon. Because <laughs> they should have called this lettuce salad. Right? Schreiben Sie eine beschwerde E-Mail. Schreiben Sie 180 words. That looks promising. You're so German. Uh oh. Oh, Lord, Lord. oh my God. They're, this is their famous Brian's ribs, right? Yes. Can you smell it, Andy? Yeah. It smells so good. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat. Have your first bite. I, 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 I want to have a first bite. Jeez, so <laughs> sick. Don't film me. It's very expensive to film me on. Talent fee. No knife. You're in the Philippines, no knife. You use the spoon. You be, well, you, you've been here for how many years already? Jeez, so oh sick. my god, and you still don't know how to use a spoon? <laughs> uh, let's ask for your knife. Mm, it's nice. Is it? Not too sweet? I know because you have the Filipino palette. <laughs> Hola, hey amigos, my adlao. Today I'm joined by my uh, German teacher, Andy, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys have known him. Probably you've been um, one of his students, because like, as of counting, you probably have more than 3,000 students, Andy, right? Yeah, with uh, with all the exam candidates also. Yeah. So, how long have you been living here in Germany? I mean, here in the Philippines. <laughs> <laughs> He's still in Germany. Uh, 21 years. Yeah, Almost so, 22. Yeah, he's basically a local here now. So we're, we are currently we are currently here at um, Casa Verde. Uh, this is like a reunion of sorts. The last time I've seen you was I, I forgot like 2020, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Before the pandemic. I think. Yeah, before the pandemic. Yeah, that's that was the last time I've seen him. I was here last year, but our schedules did not match. So this time it's just. Up, um, He's so busy. Yeah, it's just important that I'm, I have all to the meet him. He has to meet all the bitches. <laughs> no, because the thing is, I mean, Andy is also pivotal in my life. Right? He was one of my teachers, including Louis. Shout out to Louis, she's in Germany right now. And uh, well, Andy is known for being strict and so direct. Right? And I'm pretty sure a lot of students are afraid. But I was never afraid of Andy, actually. Sometimes I just get irritated because he's so strict. And he'd be like, you're not gonna pass. And I'm like, it's okay, Andy. I know I'm gonna pass. <laughs> but it's like that. Like, he tells it like it is. So, Andy, I just want to ask, like, um, what made you come to the Philippines? Like, what made, what made you decide? Because, like, you arrived in 2001, right? Well, I, I really like the Philippines. I like the climate. <clears throat> yeah. I don't like, I never, I, I never wanted to have a winter, mm -hmm. it, I hated it in Germany when it's cold and then you know when it's raining all the time, Yeah. so I like it, I like it in in Philippines much better and then of course I really like Filipinos, you know, uh, that's what you can see here every day, <laughs> that's why also the vloggers, they like the Philippines because wherever is a camera, uh, there are friendly people reacting, want to be in the movie, not like in Germany when they say, Why are you feeling Oh it? my god, yeah, they, 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 they get mad like when you like take a picture and you're not even focusing on them. Yes. And they'd be like, you're invading their privacy, which is, I totally understand, but like sometimes it's like uncalled for. Cause even they are in the background. Yeah, right? exactly, and you cannot see their faces. Yes, but yes. for them, it, they feel like they're being but a video so German, already. That is so German. And 
I see that also with, with uh, some, sometimes when we're communicating about uh, anything in, with Germans and mm. that's so weird uh, when you live here it's so weird how how overreacting about privacy and about uh, yeah, like like in Facebook when yeah. you have a group chat yeah. and there is one one in the group chat who, who is located in Germany yeah. it doesn't show when you put a link it doesn't show the preview, preview anymore oh really? I it, didn't know that yeah because oh, okay. of privacy I don't know what it is uh, it's so crazy. Yeah. No, because like what I noticed though is like when it comes to my German friends, like even like the half Filipino, half Germans, they don't use their real names on Facebook. Yeah, that's also that, That's like the most typical German. Yes, yes, yes. And on Instagram, mm -hmm. they have an account, but they don't post anything. It's zero posts. <laughs> they, they, they just use it for stalking or in, yeah. and sending messages and that's yes, it. Yes, yes, yes. Andy, uh, but when you first came here, you weren't a Deutsch leader at first, right? No, I had my own company, mm -hmm. uh, uh, internet company, but then unfortunately, my customer didn't pay the bills, yeah. so uh, I had to find another solution. But what made you decide, like, what, what made you switch? What made you pivot to No, actually, teaching? I was teaching in Germany mm -hmm. before. Mm -hmm. I had my own NGO in yeah. Germany, and uh, one part was to t teach refugees yeah. German language. And then here, after my internet company went down, I had a meeting with with a German priest living here in, mm -hmm. in Cebu and he is famous for his charity work. Okay. And this is how I came back to teaching. He yeah. said to me, what? You, you have experience in teaching? You can do that here for our charity. So this is how I started teaching uh, young people from less fortunate yeah. families who are now working, a lot of them working in cruise line ships, mm -hmm. in German cruise line ships. Yeah. No, because like, you've always been into helping people, that's what I know, because like, you've been, you're connected to some NGOs, and uh, I remember you told me, before coming here, you were in some war-torn areas in Europe, yes, right? Yes, in Bosnia. In, yes. Oh, in Bosnia. During the Bosnian War, 1992 to 1995, something yeah. like that. So you I've always, been there several times. You always had this heart to serve. and. Uh, so when you moved here, you started a company, then eventually you pivoted into teaching a German language, right? Yes, actually it was like that. I started with the charity teaching, ah, okay. teaching the, the, the Filipinos. Yeah. And then we sent them for the cruise line management course yeah. to San Carlos University. And there they was talking about the German class, how fun, how much fun we had. Yeah. And that's why the, the dean from San Carlos called me uh -huh. if I can teach in San Carlos. Ah, okay. So I I was there for one year in San Carlos University, and then I also go uh, to afterwards I go to the different uh, language schools here yeah. in Cebu, and that's what I do until now. So I I have like a, a different. But I'm not like like in one. I don't. I'm not hired or something. Yeah. I'm like a freelancer. Yeah. And now we have a new exam center again mm -hmm. uh, in Cebu City. Uh, can you can, can you say the uh, what was this last the company or uh, it's the test center? It's or ESD. It okay? It's ESD, and we are with my language cafe, mm -hmm. and uh, we offer here in Cebu City uh, official. Uh, examinations from A1 to B2 so for as well as for uh, uh, fiancé marriage candidates yeah. up to uh, nurses who have to take the B2 exam so we offer that now here also in Cebu City again so it's like after many years you've seen the change of demographics right because like I guess like before aside from the charity as students you were also focusing mainly on fiancés right and now lately, you've been yeah. teaching professionals and the... Well, with the, with the professionals, it's already a while now. Mm -hmm. It started before pandemic, you know, yeah. when we had the contract signing between uh, Germany and Philippines mm -hmm. officially. That oh, yeah. They need a lot of nurses and, you know, until today, it's, it's still the same situation mm -hmm. in Germany that they need uh, not just nurses, but even now also for Ausbildung, as a for training. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so there are a lot of opportunities. But of course, uh, 
Germany is not the only country uh, like dealing and uh, uh, looking for Filipinos. Yeah. So Germany should try to get more attractive to uh, to uh, make it uh, yeah more attractive also to Filipinos yeah. because that uh, the problem is of course when you compare to other countries. In other countries, sometimes it's okay if you speak English. Yeah. But in Germany, you have to put uh, this effort yeah, first exactly, yeah. to learn like what you experience. No, you, you cannot just wing it. Yeah. Because at least when you go there, you need to have the skills already. You do not expect that you already you can survive just by knowing basic German. It's not like that. It, especially if you're working, so you really need to make sure that you have enough vocabulary. You know how to string words together and um, make sentences out of those words and be able to communicate and understand those nuances. Actually, not only the professionals, mm -hmm. also the, the, those who go for marriage, I mean, they need for the visa only A1, A1 certificate. And A1 is just very basic. Mm -hmm. uh, you can just introduce yourself and ask for some way, excuse me, where's the supermarket? But then that's it. Uh, much more you cannot do with A1. Mm -hmm. And uh, when they go to Germany, they need to continue learning. So what I actually uh, uh, recommend to, to the fiancé or marriage candidates, they should already continue here mm -hmm. because the visa procedure for fiancé, marriage, family reunion is usually much longer than for work. For, ah, okay. For work, it's quite fast. Mm -hmm. As long as you have a B2 certificate yeah. and all your papers together, it's quite fast that they approve your working visa. But for fiancé, it takes usually six to eight months ah, okay. until they get their visa. Mm -hmm. And in this time, they can for sure do the A2 yeah. and even the B1. And you can finish it already. And it has a big advantage yeah. because uh, in Germany, to get your own residency yeah. after three years, you need B1. Oh, really? Oh, so, okay. uh, if they don't uh, finish it, they don't get an own residency. Uh, that means when something happened to their partner, right. they have to go back to Philippines. Oh, okay. So, that's why this is important and they could use the time while they are still here. And also, it's better to continue because it's not good to make a break a long break after A1. Yeah, because like, you, you tend to forget everything. You forget everything. Ah, and then you it. start in Germany again with A1. But yeah, exactly. This makes no sense. Yeah. Right? Waste of time and money. No, because the thing is, like, also, if you want to work in Germany, you need to have a speed by, right? Like, you cannot find work if you don't have enough yeah, skills for that. I mean, uh, you may find some cleaning jobs mm -hmm. with A1, some part time jobs for cleaning or selling yeah. uh, pommes in, in, in McDonald's, mm. maybe they will accept you with A1. But these are the low paid, yeah. usual part-time jobs. Nobody wants really to work there, you know? So a real job, real work, at least B1 is the, mm -hmm. is the requirement because you need to communicate with, with Germans. And well, talking about all those things, Andy, I mean, you have so much experience already, like thousands of hours teaching. Can you still like re recall like the, those memorable um, instances during those classes? Like funny things. Example, uh, there was a time when, well, I wasn't really like the best student. I, I wasn't really the most. <laughs> I was a bit lazy in a way. Uh, there, can you still remember? You had, uh, you had uh Language speech balance. Because <laughs> <laughs> no, remember when um, you made me what do you call that translate an article about Mother Teresa? Yes. <laughs> helping the poor. Yes. And poor means um oh, man. Yeah, you know. Then I, <laughs> I was swinging it. I was like, okay, um, Mother Teresa joined the army. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is also, this is also uh, uh, confusing because army is army with two double A P in the end. But army is arms. But it can be also the poor. Yeah. So it is. German is sometimes also yeah. a little bit crazy. Yeah, because like, we did not like stop laughing for like 
many minutes for them because of that, we're like crying. <laughs> Yeah, we had also such experience like in Exxon, mm -hmm. uh, uh, it was like about fast food yeah. and one student said, uh, es, ist verboten, es ist verboten Kinder in McDonald's to essen, <laughs> which means in English it's forbidden to eat children in <laughs> <Yeah>. McDonald's. <laughs> Of course, he wanted to say children should not eat in McDonald's, should not eat fast food. But yeah. she said, you, you should not eat, eat like children, children mm -hmm. in McDonald's. So I said, okay, at home it's yeah. okay, but not in McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, but those are like um, our bloopers and stuff. And uh, especially if you're still learning, it, it's part of the process. And you should learn how to make fun of yourself. Don't of take course, it too yeah. seriously, right? I mean... Uh, Maybe some people get offended, but you yeah. laugh about it. But actually, it's fun, you yeah. know. And um, you should take it not. You should take it serious, mm -hmm. but not too much, yeah. you know. I mean, this is uh, what is also important that the, the language learning is quite long. When you go to P2, it's like 10 to 12 months, so uh, it can be quite tiring, you know? Yeah. So it's it's important to have also fun while you learn. I, you should, I remember uh -huh. there was one class they had students they they enjoyed to make small videos like soap operas in German language. So this was the batch of Lawrence, Lawrence and and Rizal, Rizal, Rizal Jan Chico, yeah, 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 Burn, yeah, Burn, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that is funny, no? Mm -hmm. Alme, Alme was yeah, the know. other one also there. Yeah, you right? just make it um, yeah. and, enjoyable. And it was so funny, these videos, to see, but also it helped them to mm. improve the language. Exactly. You know? And this is exactly right to do, you know, mm -hmm. not, not just with the poops and no speed, you know, yeah. and egg all the time with the grammar. You should have fun while yeah. you're learning. And you have, you need to have those tricks. You need to find your learning style, and not just. Okay, the problem with some of us Filipinos is that we tend to focus on the grammar to the point that we are afraid to speak because we're not sure of the grammar. But the thing is, you have to speak, and at least uh, probably start with the wrong grammar. Then eventually you'll just uh, polish that and you'll of get course, better, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, the speaking is important, but also very important is reading. Yeah. But the problem is, many Filipinos don't like to read. So, uh, but when you read yeah. in German language, uh, 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 even an easy, simple, written children's book or yeah. something, um, you learn vocabulary, yeah. but you also learn the grammar. Mm -hmm. So, and it's it's a good way, and especially when you go up to B2, you should read several uh, storybooks. Yeah. Uh, to improve your vocabulary and your grammar and not just with your textbooks from the German books, it's not enough. Because I remember you told me that you also had uh, kids as students and before you would bring those uh, German storybooks, right, for kids, which is actually great for all ages, especially if you're just starting out. Yeah, I mean, the kids is another approach also. We yeah. usually are more in singing, you know, and having fun with the language yeah. and not so much in telling them yeah, you must put the verb in the second <laughs> position and when you give, yeah. it's just automatic. Yeah. They have a other, a other approach, yeah. means they, they learn it they, more they get, like, like natives. Yeah. Like they natives get to learn it about. so fast. It's like natives, yeah. uh, uh, when you have a child in Germany, you don't tell your child where to put the grammar on there to yeah. put the verb, you know. They just talk with your yeah. child and that's the, that's the approach. You Probably a few days like they will already get the hang of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also, one thing that I, it's very helpful for me is watching those cartoons of which yeah. at least it, it, it's easier it's uh, more course, but also uh, when you can get to the higher levels mm. uh, talk shows are good mm. but sometimes I see now those number one talk shows in German TV what you can also easily see here uh, with the Mediathek like Lanz and Maischberger that this advantage is they have mostly only Always the same topics. It's all about now uh, war in Ukraine, or, or before it was always the pandemic. Yeah. So that's not so nice. Uh, but there is, there, there are when when you when you research in uh, YouTube, you can find talk shows about interesting topics. Exactly. Like, you know, uh, like uh, uh, I don't know. How. 
like they talk about what 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 why we dreaming or something like that, you know. And then it's it's like other. It's not always the same what you see in the news, yeah. you know. So it's more on general topics or something what is interesting. They just need to find something that there that interests them. Yeah. And there are actually German uh, bloggers. Uh, one person that I know is uh, backpacking salmon. He blogs auf Deutsch. So and there were yeah, like he had some videos shot here in the Philippines. So it's uh, at least you get to practice your. Yeah, it's sometimes hearing. funny when I see them. Uh, I don't know that this one, but I just saw another German vlogger. Uh, he was in the Philippines, yeah. and uh, he said something about the Philippines, but was actually not true <laughs> because they don't know the Philippines. Mm -hmm. you know? So uh, you learn a lot when you're living here. Of course, you you learn. Like you said, there's only one religion in the Philippines. Yeah. There's only Catholic. Yeah. But that's not true. We have yeah. so many different uh, relig religions here. So um, this is what you learn also. Or, or they show you the squatter areas yeah. and say, this is the Philippines. Yeah. And actually, also, this is not true. Yeah, exactly. Uh, this is a part, yes. This is, this is a part of, of the Philippines, but the, not this is yeah. the Philippines. No, well, everyone, we just have to take everything with a grain of salt and you do not just um, listen or believe absolutes right away because like uh, Philippines is very multifaceted it's not just one thing it's everything right yeah yeah I mean uh, what I enjoy here is really how people are so easy going yeah um, there is no oh, not much maldita and maldito yeah. here maldita maldito all the the, yeah. the people are nicer here. How you say it in English? Maldito, rude. Maldito? Rude. Not really rude, but complicated persons. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, uh, not easy to approach. Mm -hmm. The most people here are easily approaching yeah. you. They, you don't need to approach them. They yeah. appro approach you. And they are friendly and, and, and they want to help you. Of course, they are also bad people, but that is just a minority. You know? so, so, would you say you're Filipino now? In a way, w would you say you're more Filipino now than German? A mix, a mix. Because I'm living here, so yeah. what I did, I adapt a lot. Yeah. Um, I think this is important. Wherever you live, you should adapt yeah. to, the, to the place where you live. So, for example, at the beginning, yeah. uh, the buat, the dried fish, yeah. was very stinky for me. It was yeah. Mahu. Yeah. But now it's hummus, and I—it's one of my favorite foods actually. After, uh -huh. but it took me six years. Uh -huh. Have to you tried durian? Durian, of course. Uh -huh. The best is uh, jam out of durian. Uh -huh. It's very lummy. So, I mean, the food also changes. Of course, I like also still German food. Yeah. Right? So sometimes people they bring me something from Germany. I'm very glad. Uh, Greetings to all my students and exam candidates. When you come to Cebu, bring some salami and some nice food. <laughs> Very good idea. Have you gotten used to the Filipino time? The Especially when it comes to your students, though, like you. Nah, nah, nah. I said hardly I change. Yeah. But uh, I also keep something what I think is better in German mm -hmm. culture. Uh, one of those things what I don't like is like late coming. I'm still German, so yeah. I'm always on time yeah. because I still feel when somebody is just, wait, waiting for me, I feel guilty. Yeah. I feel guilty. Uh, it's like insulting them. Yeah, they're why, disrespecting your time as well. Yeah, right? why, why, I'm, why I'm not on time? Yeah. I mean, it can happen. Maybe I'm in the traffic, but at least I can send them a text. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, uh, uh, there's traffic here, but yeah. I'm on the way. But here it's very, very uh, usual that people coming 30 minutes late is yeah. totally normal. Uh -huh. well. In school? Uh, it's not. Uh, at, at class? In okay. school, uh, they do, they try that once with me. Yeah. Uh, when they're five minutes late, they nice. do that never again. Oh, really? Well, what do you do? Well, I will tell them uh, if they have, uh, uh, if their clock is from China. I will tell them maybe to buy a new one because we started five minutes ago yeah. and they're yeah. disturbing when they're coming late. Yeah. And then they're feeling wow. Yeah. 
that is Uau in English, shy, embarrassed. They feel embarrassed. Yeah. Uh, and that's why they do. The, they never do it again. Yeah. So the next day, everybody's on time. It's like I never, I, I, I never, I, I, I try not to come in late because like I had like a private uh, tutorial with him. But I remember on my last day because like we had, we still had the last session. I did not wake up. I did be like James Bond. Where are you? <laughs> then I'm like, oh my god, Andy, I'm so sorry. I was not able to wake up. <laughs> and that was supposed to be our last session. Yeah. But it turned out okay anyway. I mean, I still passed the exam eventually. Yeah. And I'm in Germany now. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> and now you uh, you speak a lot of German, you know? <laughs> no, I mean... I'm still waiting for your German vlogs. <laughs> I can't do it. German vlogs, why not? <laughs> no, because like my, uh, my demographics are international. I don't want to focus on the German market. And besides, let's be honest, you my, can make it my Deutsch, channel. My can Deutsch make is this so good. This is kaput. You can make uh, the, the, the <laughs> Deutsch James Bond. I can do Deutsch English. <laughs> I'm really good at Deutsch English. Deutsch English? And uh, at least they get to appreciate that. It's like sometimes you still grow up for words. Because let's be honest here, Deutsch is Sprache, is search there. Right? Yeah, it is. Uh, you realize that also when you teach it. Mm. Uh, how crazy it's sometimes. Mm. For example, umfahren is the, is the opposite for umfahren. I, I don't even know about that. When I hit somebody yeah, you know. and I roll over it, that's yeah. umfahren. Uh -huh. But when I'm going around, it's also umfahren. Ah, okay. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so umfahren is the yeah. opposite for umfahren. Yeah. Which makes no sense, Diva. I mean, even like, for example, even the most simple thing is like the the da. It's like in Germany we have the der didas, then yes. we have the different um, cases. Yes, that's that's fine. That's very funny, no? When you have to think, is it now the subject or the yeah. object? No? So, but you can learn. I mean, the difficulty is really to know the genders, yeah. to know. That the table is masculine and the, yeah. and the, and the window is neutral. The, yeah, because like, I remember before when I started, I was just memorizing the the German translations, but w without the yeah. the Adidas. Like, oh yeah. my God, I should have memorized it as well. I mean, okay, if you if you're wrong with the genders, yeah. the people can still understand you. Yeah. About. So even if you're wrong with the cases. Yeah. So, I mean, but in an exam, yeah. of course it's expe it's important, yeah. so uh, we cannot let you pass a higher level mm. with, without any of this grammar. Mm. So, but in the, in the reality, in the life, in Germany, unless you meet some unfriendly people, yeah. but if you meet normal people yeah. and you, you, your article is wrong, who cares? Yeah, exactly. I mean, they can still understand yeah. what you're talking about. So. But what are the common mistakes of those people that are about to take the exams? Why do they not pass? Because I've heard now that like the passing passing rate is not really that good. Like, what it do depends. you think are the mistakes I, I of mean, those? I mean, number one is number one is there are some schools. Sorry, uh, in advance. Uh, but there are some schools. They have no real teachers. Mm -hmm. uh, they also have no natives. There are some Filipinos. They maybe. Maybe they pass the B2, maybe, and then they, they they play the teacher. Yeah. And that's impossible. Yeah. Yeah? If you pass B2, you can teach A1. You can teach A2. Yeah. That's possible. Yeah. But B, B1 and B2, no. Yeah. You need a German teacher, yeah. a native teacher. So that is one of the reasons why uh, some schools also don't have a high passing rate yeah. because the students did not have a real teacher or not the right teacher. Uh, the second is sometimes uh, students underestimate it mm -hmm. and think, ah, I can just do that beside my work. Even we say yeah. you should stop working yeah. and focus the language because it's really a challenge mm -hmm. it is not just something you can do by beside other things sometimes also private life uh, I hear that sometimes also when I teach online that the, the child is there uh, beside the student mm -hmm. and so the student cannot really focus because the child is crying yeah I mean you should really have 
the, the place and the time to focus on that language, to focus your class, to have also time to, to, to exercise what you learn mm -hmm. every day, mm -hmm. not just once a week, every day. Mm -hmm. So, and these are the mistakes why people come to an exam and all of a the sudden they are absolutely not ready to take that exam. Mm -hmm. I mean, I find that also, it depends. I mean, also good students can fail. No? Uh, uh, it can happen all the time yeah. in the higher levels. It can happen all the time. Uh, this is also not the end of the world. Yeah. So, if you B1 or B2 exam and you fail or partly fail, this is totally, it's totally, fine. It's totally okay. As long as you did not get zero points. Mm -hmm. Because then something something went really wrong. Or probably that person did not follow the instructions, I guess. Right? I don't know. Uh, what I mean is when somebody is coming to exam and he's absolutely no chance to pass, uh, I find it unfair because the teacher should have told that person not yeah, to oh, register for the exam. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. Because uh, the teacher must know or he is no teacher at all. But yeah. uh, it's not good to say, yeah, yeah, you're ready, you can go to exam, yeah. and then all of a sudden you come there and you get zero points. You should not give someone like false hopes. Yes. Yeah. I mean, it can always look on the edge. No, no, but okay. at, no, at the end of the day, like, if you're the best taker, you know where you stand. Because, Andy, I remember you told me during my Beats by B Eins exam, you told me you'll only pass the, the Schreiben exam. You will not pass like the air, everything else but uh, but the complete opposite happened I passed the few the student I passed the speaking and I passed the other one and I told you Andy <laughs> I passed it it's good yeah I mean honestly somebody who's on the edge mm. I better tell them uh, if there's like a zero chance and you, you know that person's gonna fail you may you may have a difficult to pass mm. difficulty to pass uh, then to tell him, yeah, go, you are ready. Yeah. Um, but if somebody gets zero points, yeah. I would never, oh, yeah. I would never tell them to take the exam. Yeah. I would always tell them, wait, mm -hmm. because you're not ready. Yeah. You have to study because it's only a disappointment, and you don't need that actually. You mm -hmm. need, you need success, the right? mm -hmm. If you, if you fail, but you are, you are close to passing. That's another story. Yeah, you know. Yeah? But unfortunately, I had student like that, and uh, records to her. Yeah. Uh, if you watch me, I you know, I yeah. you know whom I mean. Uh, she was able to reach the score. She right? she was actually uh, having had a hard time to learn German, but uh -huh. she did her best. So then, uh, in, at the end of B1, I told her, "Sorry, but you're not ready for B2 yet." Oh, okay. So you should take the B1 with me again. Mm -hmm. She was crying, running out. Mm -hmm. uh, it can happen in the Philippines. Yeah. <laughs> then I was messaging her. Hey, I don't mean it bad. I want to help you. Uh -huh. No reply. After one week, several messages sent. She sent me a message. Andy, sorry. You are right, I come back. So she came back, yeah. she took the B1 again, yeah. and she was fine, she came, she went to B2, and then come that moment with the exam. Yeah. And I know she might be not passing. Oh, okay. So, because still she had a hard time, so, but sent her the exam, and all of a sudden, she passed the oral exam. Oh, that's good. Only not the written. Yeah. And she was so down again. <gasps> it's okay. Hui, congratulations. Yeah, exactly. Because you passed the oral exam. Yeah. So, half the study. Yeah, already. exactly. I said, now you join my, my exam preparation yeah. again and you take the next exam and you pass the written. Yeah. She did it. And unfortunately, she failed by one point. Oh my god, yeah, that's so heartbreaking. One point. Yeah. So I told her again, congratulations. Exactly. One point. Yeah. Yeah. But unfortunately, I never saw her again. Oh. 
I, so sad. I message her a lot. I ask so her sad. classmates to message her yeah. because she was so close to yeah. her plan to go to Germany. Why would you give up? Yeah, you should never give up. No, Andy, I actually met someone who took the exam five times. Yes. I know someone, someone, she did the exam seven times. Oh, really? And she was even teaching me too. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus, Maria. No, just like, I re remember, because like, I took the exam for uh, like an OSD, right? And you told me like, wait, James Bond, your partner is already here. He's looking for you. Turns out, my partner for, for the OSD exam was my partner for my B Ains exam at go -to. I was like, oh my god, dude, you're still here. And, wow. said, and, and he said, yeah, I still did not pass. I, this is, it was his fifth time, but now he's in Germany and I'm so proud of him. That's the reason why I always say that. Just because you fail doesn't mean you're going to be failing. Like, forever. Right? You can always pass. Exactly. Because you have to look. How many are in Germany already? Mm -hmm. They did exactly what you're doing. Yeah. And they passed. So when they pass, you can also pass. Yeah. You should, you should never give up. I mean, I was not able to pass it like on my first try. Then on my next try, I think I was able to pass just the half of it. Then at least... That's okay. Yeah. For me, that is better also because at least you get to focus on just one part of the exam and you don't have to be stressed with the other part of it. Important is never give up mm -hmm. because when you give up, quitters are yeah. losers. Exactly. So, yeah. and, and they also say the bad, the good things mm -hmm. doesn't come easy. Yeah. So if you have to take it second or third time, it's okay. It will it, it will all be worth it. And I remember, I actually have a classmate. Like, if you add all her scores, she would have passed. But there just there was this one part of the exam she did not make it to like to the minimum score. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's always that's also so heartbreaking. This is it. Yeah, but on the other hand, you are close. To yeah, exactly. So you should be always positive. Yeah, that's also what I learned in my life. Uh, because you know, life sometimes is crazy, you have mm. some ups and downs. Mm. But when you have the downs, you always have to stay positive. Because like not everyone, not everything will go your way, but it will just fall into place eventually. And you realize like, ah, this is the reason why I failed that time. And the, the thing is, when you stay positive, you will be more successful. Mm -hmm. People who are negative, always thinking negative, they become negative yeah. and they are not successful. Also, with your surrounding, you know, uh, you attract the yeah. negative if yeah. you're negative, mm -hmm. but you attract also the positive if mm. you're positive. So just be positive. There's always something you can think positive, also in difficult times. And like, since you have so many students now, a lot of them are in Germany, and you told me earlier that there, there are times where you're just walking in the mall and you see them, right? <laughs> it, it happens some. <laughs> Sometimes already that somebody in the ball is running to me and they oh, Andy, Andy. and actually I don't know who is it. <laughs> I'm very sorry, huh? Because sometimes I don't I cannot remember all three thousand persons I had yeah. I had here. Mm -hmm. When I count my students yeah. and my exam candidates, it's about three thousand. Yeah. So of course I cannot uh, remember all single students. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but of course, I'm happy if people uh, still remember you. Remember me, yeah. and, and it's really special. I just had it again. One student, she was, I think, she was in exam preparation, and she took the exam with me, and she bring me extra some specialities from Germany, oh. and actually. It turned out we couldn't meet because she didn't oh, come to Cebu. Yeah, you know. So you know what she did? She packed it all and she sent it from Negros with LBC yeah. to Cebu yeah. that, so that I can have it. Okay, so this is absolutely uh, sweet, special. Yeah. For all your former students, like, what's your favorite? Like, what do you wanna? But actually, you know, it's not so important. Yeah. Of course, of course, I'm happy yeah. if somebody bring me some salami or whatever. Mm -hmm. But uh, the best is if we can meet up and if we can talk a little bit, if yeah. I can hear. Catch up. Uh, uh, also, I'm happy, like what you told me before, off camera, uh, that, that you're actually happy with your work in Germany, yeah. with your situation in yeah. Germany. 
this is what makes me happy because uh, to have that feedback, you know, to, yeah. to, to stay in touch and, and to hear that you're doing good yeah. because that's why we're doing it, Deva. Right? Yeah. And to be, to be part of someone's journey and success, and it, it, it makes you happy. Yeah, it's yeah. priceless, yeah. you know. Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, this is also with other things, you know, when you, when you meet people, you could maybe help them to some changes yeah. in yeah. their life. Also before in charity, I I uh, I'm happy if I hear from that people again yeah. and, and can see that the life turned around. Yeah. You know, I mean, and um, you'll always remember the people that who helped you, right? Yeah. Anyway, and, yeah. And, and okay, some people forget forget also. <laughs> uh, I also made that experience already, but uh, no, but it's it's. It's so nice if people don't forget, you know. And yeah. Uh, yeah, there are some people like also in charity before. I had some some families with and some also some single persons with very very heartbreaking stories yeah. of the war in Bosnia. Yeah, and I helped them to like staying in Germany because they they were traumatized and gang raped okay. uh, and yeah it it's uh, it's something special if people tell you that they praying for you every day even I'm an atheist oh yeah but still this is something so special you know and this is the reward uh, and that's why you do charity actually so just to be safe, he loves salami. Just in case you're coming to Cebu. Just <laughs> Haribo? Yeah, oh, oh, Haribo also, yeah. But I must be careful with my sweets now because I'm 50 plus. Um, oh, British, eh? Yeah, yeah. Nice. This is a secret. Officially, I'm forever 21. <laughs> now, um, on that note, let's talk about what are your hopes for the future, Andy? Well, for the future, I mean, we're living in a crazy time right now. Yeah, everywhere in the world, yeah. Yeah, with, with inflation and with, uh, with the war and mm. with refugee problems. Mm. Uh, also the climate change, we, yeah. can, we can feel it here yeah, in the exactly. Philippines yes. very much. Mm -hmm. uh, because, you know, there are still some people out there, they say there's no they climate change. It. Just last week I've heard there was a big <laughs> flood in uh, Country Mall. Unfortunately, uh, not just in Philippines. Mm -hmm. I saw it yesterday. New York City. Oh yeah, exactly. Oh, flooded. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it is crazy, and we can see it. Uh, uh, some people say this is just weather. Yeah, of course it's weather, mm -hmm. but it's connected to the climate change. Mm -hmm. We have here in the Philippines now more often the, the super typhoons. Yeah, they coming more often, so we have more floods. Mm -hmm. But even in countries where they never had floods before, yeah. like now New York City, or uh, just recently also in Germany with the with the Artal, which yeah. was flooded very oh, much. Oh yeah, I, I live near Artal. Yeah, and we were actually affected with that. So it ha that never happened before. You yeah. know? I mean, uh, so and it's, it's now yeah. it's now unfortunately more often mm -hmm. such things. I hope we can find solutions mm -hmm. for for such mm -hmm. problems, and we can, uh, yeah, find answers to these uh, problems. You know. Do you still want to go back to Germany? No. Oh, so you see yourself staying here? Of course. For good. I will be Batai here. <laughs> I will go back to Germany when I'm Batai because <laughs> because when I'm dead, I want to be burned and my ash should be go to the sea. And Which then, one? Uh, North Sea. I will here to the sea. Oh, this year. And then I will swim to Germany. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm so happy here. And, yeah. and the ticket to Germany yeah. is so expensive. Yeah. I can make here uh, one month's very nice vacation. Yeah. Only from the ticket price to yeah. Germany. It always goes to do vacations anyway. Yeah. Up north. It's nice. Uh, here you have the best beaches for vacations. Uh -huh. uh, so you should come here and visit the Philippines. Yeah, but anyone who's still learning German, you should not give up. You should fo course. focus on your dream. And anything, not just German language, yeah. anything. Anything what you want, mm -hmm. go for it and do it yeah. and don't give up. There might be setbacks, but you know, it's part of the process. It's part of the journey. It's normal. Yeah. 
Well, talagang salamat sa sa imuhang wait na wala na nung okay I'm, I'm talking in uh, the side but thank you so much for for being here Andy for for this afternoon I really appreciate it and you are one of my brave, favorite uh, Deutsch there you and uh, Louis and for me guys it's really important if you look for a German teacher or for a yeah, German language teacher he has to be strict and fun at the same time and that's Andy yeah he's fun but can be quite stern and can make sure that you really have to focus on your goals. Yeah, thank you yeah. for the meetup. By the way, your your painting is still in my oh, house. Oh yeah, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, I appreciate that. Also very, very uh, special for me uh, that my student, before he went to Germany, he yeah. made a painting for oh, yeah. me yeah, because sure. he's actually an artist. I actually forgot about it and I, I have oh, st stopped my, painting ever since. It's yeah. in my house. I, I appreciate that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for the it's, afternoon. It's, 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 always make me remember. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. And I will always remember you because like, he is quite strict to me at times. But I said, you know what, Andy, trust me, I'm going to pass this exam. Just trust me. It's like that sometimes. <laughs> students also, I know during class some students even hate me because I'm so strict. Yeah. But when they pass the exam, yeah. they don't hate me anymore exactly. because they see that the other candidates failed. Yeah. So they are the, one of the few who pass the exam. And if Andy is just so strict, just don't be too sensitive about it. <laughs> yeah. Because I think that's the problem with some Filipinos is that they get too yes. overly sensitive. Yes. And yes. you know what, guys, it's totally fine. Andy, if there's anyone who wants to inquire as to how they can avail your services as teachers, like where can they contact you? Either through Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, you can put my link. Yeah, I will put your, it yeah. in your description. Yeah. Or you can just uh, contact the ESD exam center. You can find it uh, with, with my language cafe. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's yeah. how you can contact I'm going to put down your link on Yes, yes, yes. Well, okay. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you and all the best. Yeah. Thank you so much. You stay, you stay in touch. Huh? <laughs> As it's a salute. Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Okay, I don't know how to start. I don't know how to oh, yeah, start. Well, well, let's just... Uh... Maybe Vorspiel. <laughs> what is Vorspiel? Yeah, Spiel. Vorspiel. Yeah, you know, like uh, opening intro. Yeah, you know. Vorspiel. I have your accent. Poor play. Cut, cut. <laughs> no, I'll, I'll, I'll play that. <laughs> okay.